Enhoff's team just inherently, just baked into its DNA, it's a little less bulky, a little less safe than Hot Pocket's team, so it relies on a bit more dynamic play, but a lot of teams match their trainers, and I think that it matches Enhoff's playstyle quite nicely. She's very flexible, she likes to move around, and I think she tries to find these win conditions, but it's just very tough pushing uphill against a young, uh, stellar trainer like Hot Pocket. And both these trainers are confident. They're just locking in straight away, and it's flying type on flying types, a knocked out into Altaria. We haven't really seen this matchup play out too much. I'm not quite sure whose matchup it is. It's very neutral. I think Altaria will eventually get the better of the knockdown here, but it is a very close matchup. Like you mentioned yesterday, flexible and impactful. This knockdown is going to deal a lot of damage here over time. The longer the matchup goes on, but look at these two back lines. They're almost identical. Fairy water types and Lickitungs. These teams are almost the exact same. It's two. It's flying types in the league. Uh, in the lead, Water Fairy in the back, Azumarill and Tapu Fini, and then two Lickitungs. Here comes the first Protect Shield out of the game. Looks like Hot Pocket wants to play this out in the one Protect Shields or get alignment. Alignment doesn't really matter, I don't think, because you have pretty much the same backline. I know, look at both of these trainers trying to control alignment, just taking these subtle cues from each other. My opponent shielded, does that mean I should shield as well? Do they value switch advantage? How should I play this matchup? And we do see the Sky Attack get fired off here just before the Knockdown is ready. If Knockdown can hang on, it might deliver another Sky Attack. Let's Let's see if it can, and oh, it doesn't! Not quite. Perfect timing by Inhoff. And the problem is, uh, it's going to be really hard to bubble down this Altaria. I know Zumeril is so good versus Altaria for taking this Sky Attack. It's just really hard to finish it off with straight bubble. And here comes a pivot holding on to some of its health into the Tapu Fini. This is very fascinating because Tapu Fini now has the health advantage. Unlike game number one, a Moonblast will threaten, but here comes the play rough first and a Protect Shield from Anhoff. Could that be a critical shield here as the Lickitung hits the field and now Tapu Fini has no protection from a Power Whip? Yeah, that was a big Protect Shield there. And here comes the Moonblast into the Lickitung. Does, oh, it does get Protect Shielded. What a call. That is a better move than the Surf. But wait, it's the Attack Fell. Got the attack fail proc on that Moonblast, and now the Power Whip is available once again. Really great timing by these trainers. I don't know if this is enough now. I thought before it definitely would be, but since the attack has fallen, I'm not sure it's quite enough. Oh, Tapu Fini hangs on. That little factor plays a huge role here as another Moonblast gets fired off here, and this is very, very tough here for Hot Pocket. What an impactful swing that attack drop was. The Moonblast does land. The timers are back up. We know that there is a lot of bouncing around, but this time deciding to just actually let the Tapu go, but no, looks like Hot Pocket wasn't confident in that lick down, so did go for the body slam instead, and Inhoff loves that decision, dancing around a little bit. Yeah, Inhoff really uh, feeling that flexibility there of the Tapu Fini, that Moonblast was key, and here comes the counter swap, and lick a tongue now for Inhoff is squared up against Hot Pocket's Azumarill, and this Water Fairy is going to get whipped. Yes, it definitely is. This Power Whip is already incoming for the Lickitung, and Azumarill is a little bit more bulky, so it might not quite be enough. It's not, but just Licks after that. You can throw a, a Play Rough or an Ice Beam, but it looks like Pocket it just calls this one out. That was a tough game. Here comes the Lickitung. You never see a Lickitung get licked down, but there you see it here today in Peoria. We saw this earlier in the previous matchup, throwing those triple night slashes, hoping for a boost that didn't come through. But getting this attack fall on the Moonblast was that wild card, that X.